Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create shortcut for SSMS and connect to default SQL Server instance automatically. We can also provide the name of SQL Server if we would like. First of all, you will go into the search and type in SQL Server Management Studio. Once you see there, right click and open file location. Here we will see SQL Server Management Studio. Right click here and then go to the create shortcut it tells us okay there is a shortcut cut already existing here would you like to create one on the desktop yes so it will create shortcut for us on the desktop let's go ahead and take a look here is the shortcut right click on the shortcut go to properties and now you see every time we open it this is where it to take the executable and open the SSMS for us. We can also provide some switches to this SSMS.exe. So once we provide that, it will connect to that server or database. Here I have written some of the switches. So let me see actually on the post I was here. So S so it's dash s and then we have to provide the sql server instance name if you are using default you can provide the dot and then you will be providing dash e that tells us okay use windows authentication if you want to use username and password and uh, that's going to be sql server authentication you can provide as well and then we have a dash d that tells us what is the name of the database so test uh, db1 in my case i was saying that's the database i'm going to copy this part or you can type by yourself it's not big deal just give some space here s sorry dash s and then we say for local we are going to say dot and then we say dash e that means windows authentication and then we are going to say dash d and provide the database name where you would like to connect i'm gonna say sales so that's one of the database i have on my local instance and then i am i'm going to hit apply and hit ok now let's minimize this one open the shortcut and it should be connected to our default instance and to the sales database as I said that if you would like to change from default instead of provi providing the dot, you can provide the name of the SQL Server instance. So right here you can see it is connected to the default instance and the sales database. Now I have another data um, base uh, engine. Let me see what is that one. So this is what we have. We can connect to that one. We can use this one. Let's go ahead and uh, copy this name from here and change in the shortcut instead of connecting to the default we would like to connect to the uh, this named instance and uh, let's say we would like to connect to DW or uh, yep so we are gonna connect to DWQ this is the database we will be connecting let's go back uh, and now here go to the shortcut properties and instead of uh, here we had dot uh, I'm gonna remove that dot and provide the named instance so I have my machine name and then I have the SQL server instance name instead of uh, sales uh, we are providing uh, this uh, database name now as uh, this one is on uh, uh, this named instance so we are gonna go back here put remove the sales and uh, hit apply okay now close the SQL Server instance and uh, then double click on the shortcut it will open now this time it should be connected to the named instance and also the database we have provided so it's gonna take a couple of seconds here and then it will show us the connection now it's working right now and we can see that now it is connected to the named SQL Server instance and this is the database we are connected so you can see the query is already open so this is great because you can save a lot of time by creating this shortcut if you know all always you are going to work with this SQL Server and database so it's easy and from here you can connect to any SQL Server instance and work on different databases moving forward. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video.